Welcome to Fast Friday, where we get through things really fast. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Pal to Tech Show. Today is Fast Friday, and I'll be your host, Pal to Tech. Today, we're talking about my number one favorite way for setting up focus peak highlights on the Fujifilm X-T3 and X-T2 mirrorless cameras. While using manual focus is easy, you know, <laughs> you just turn the little thing here, being able to see what's in focus quickly and with a minimum of hassle can yeah, it sometimes be difficult. I have crappy eyes. I mean, just miserable eyes. And I need all the help I can get. Here's my little hack to make it a little bit easier to see what your camera is focusing on. First thing you want to do is make sure that the camera is in AFMF mode and that's turned on. AFMF and you simply turn it on right here. Now you can adjust focus manually, even if the camera is in autofocus mode. How great is that? I can aim, I half press the shutter, you know, the camera goes and it gets the thing in a little bit in focus, but then I can just make a, a final adjustment right here manually. I love that feature. Second, you wanna make sure that focus peak highlight is turned on. You go into AFMF, you go into MF assist, and here you choose focus peak highlight. And here you have four colors, white, red, blue, and yellow. I choose yellow high. And overall, red and yellow are the best because they're the easiest to see in a range of photography. So what's the difference between high and low colors? Well, high are obviously easier to see, and that's great. Low are a little bit less of them, and they're not quite as bright. The trade-off, though, is that low is more sensitive and a little bit more accurate and sensitive. So, you know, in reality and practice, I found that if I keep it in high, it works perfectly. I've never had a reason to keep it in low. I recommend that you start off with high because it is easier to see and see how that works for you. That's it. A lot of people throw it into yellow high and they're done with it and they have focus peaking and everybody's happy. Thank you so much for watching and I will, I'm, I'm not done. I'm not done yet. Come on. This is Pal to Tech. I, I, here's an awesome hack I have for a better focus peaking. It's, it's a, it is, it's a better class of focus peaking. It's first class focus peaking. First thing I do is put the camera in a black and white film sim. So I'll just choose Acros. Okay, there it is. Now the camera is in black and white film sim. Then I go into my menu. I go to AFMF, MF assist peak, focus peak highlight, and put it in red high. Okay, red high. Bottom line, you put your camera's film sim mode in a black and white, and you put your focus peaking in red high. Let's take a look at a quick demo of this outside. Have a look at that. You see the difference? Look at how the picture with red focus peaking with the black and white, it's just, it's easier to see. Look at that. Can you see the difference? Yellow high is what I always used to use, and now red high, black and white, that's where I'm headed from now on. It's easier for me to see. Okay, so what happens if you wanna use a color film sim? Glad you asked. Here's the thing. If you're shooting raw and processing raw pictures in Capture One or Lightroom, it doesn't matter what film sim you set in the camera. You're going to be converting it over anyway in raw. So that doesn't make a difference. Or you can even download and use the free Fujifilm X Raw Studio and convert your raw images to whatever film sim you decide you want later on. You can also shoot in film simulation bracketing mode. That's where the camera takes three of the same photo, all with different film simulations that you can pre-choose. You go into the camera, you go into drive setting, bracket setting, and you scroll down to film simulation bracket. Have a look at this. You can change, you have one, two, and three. So I put this in standard, I put this in chrome and acro, so I'm shooting with three film simulations, right? So now whenever I take a picture, the camera, instead of taking one picture, it goes three pictures, and then I have three pictures saved on the SD card, and I can just pick the one I want. It's like having three cameras in one. Awesome, isn't that? But Anyway, that aside, 
More importantly for me, shooting with black and white in the viewfinder forces me to focus more on composition and dynamic range, which for me is, is you know, is much more apparent when I see a black and white representation of the scene that I'm shooting. And so it helps me become a better photographer. And I think it will for you. Give this a shot. If you're having trouble using manual focus and you're using focus peaking, try putting it in black and white with red high and see if that helps a little bit. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I thought I would throw this hack tip slash whatever you want to call it out there. Have a great weekend and I will see you in another video next week. So long, take care, bye-bye.